So you're thinking about getting Amplify Shader Editor, or perhaps you just did, and now you're not too sure where to start. You're probably wondering, what can you do without any knowledge of shader development? And let me tell you that there's actually a lot of stuff you can do without any previous experience. And if you know how to use Unity standard materials, you're halfway there. If not, we do offer a beginner series to get you started. It's a great place to learn more in-depth details on some of the concepts you'll come across, but without getting too technical right away. You can find the link in the video description below. It's super easy to start if you're using the built-in render with Unity. You just import our editor and start creating. With SRP, things can get a bit more difficult. Some common pitfalls and all the documentation can be daunting for beginners. First, you must actually choose one of the renderers to use. HD for high definition stuff or universal or lightweight for everything else like mobile games for example. This video won't really go into the details specific to each pipeline, but you can learn more in the links below in the description. This can be hard for newcomers. It used to be much simpler to set up a Unity project, since you only had to contend with the built-in render, there were no additional configuration steps. Our users actually seem to bump into the same pitfalls, so we decided to create this video in order to teach you how to avoid them. So, if I'm using the built-in renderer, or the 3D project as it's listed now in the Unity launcher. I just need to import our package and we're good to go. All the standard samples will work out of the box. I just need to make sure that I import the correct package. I'm using our splash screen here as an example. You can access it later in the window menu under Amplify Shader Editor. It's a cool addition that actually simplifies the process of importing samples or accessing our learning resources. We also include a quick link to our forum thread and our Discord channel. Should you need to, you can find the actual packages here. With SRP, there's a couple of other things you need to keep in mind. Let's use HDRP as an example. First, I must make sure that I'm using a compatible HDRP version. If you're unsure, be sure to check our Asset Store page, as this is subject to change. I'll also need to make sure that it's working regardless of having our editor. So now that we're sure that Unity is working correctly, I just need to import the Amplify Shader Editor package. And import the appropriate HDRP sample package. Should you happen to try using standard surface shaders from our samples with one of the SRPs, you will come across a few warnings. This can be worrying for new users, but it's actually a harmless pitfall. Other surface shaders, regardless of being created with our editor, would also display the same messages. Each SRP, HD, Universal or even Lightweight, requires a specific type of shader that's unique to the one you choose. We support these SRP shaders in our editor via a custom template. This template is located here and was imported automatically for you when you imported the editor package. If for some reason the package was not imported, you won't be able to create shaders for the chosen SRP. In that case, HDRP would not show up here when creating new shaders. I hope that makes sense to you. Each SRP has its own type of shader. Should you need to, you could possibly use an older version of these SRPs. Just keep in mind that we can't officially support all the versions, so we tend to stick to the latest version available for each distribution. A cool thing is that you can still take advantage of those standard shader samples, you'll simply need to convert them to the SRP you're using. So in this case, you simply need to open them, change the type to HDRP, and relink any broken connections. After saving the shader, it will be updated to work with this specific HDRP version. They're a great reference to have around, so if you're learning shaders, definitely start there. You can also copy and paste between shaders, which makes it even easier to create your HDRP shaders based on the samples included. These are some of the most common pitfalls you'll find when trying to work with our editor and the new SRPs. Of course, you can remove the standard samples if you wish, but they're fairly harmless. Just to recap, make sure that the errors you're seeing are not just warnings and be sure that SRP is correctly set up in your project and that the editor packages have been imported as required. Also make sure that the SRP version you're using is actually supported by our editor. 
Also, just as a side note, if you want to avoid all of these additional configuration steps, just use the built-in render if you're starting out in Unity. It will simplify things immensely. And remember, regardless of the rendered use, you'll be learning concepts that you can apply anywhere, be it with the built-in render or any of the other SRPs that exist or might come up later. Thank you.